Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the recreational therapist at Tempe Adult Day Center. This is my son Simeon. Hey Sim, can you say hi? Where's Simeon? Or he'll blow kisses. Well, if you've seen me, you've um, and participate in our chair exercises from my house. We're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna do a, oh bless you, a picture word game. Um, if you've ever seen the old game show, Concentration, um, it's exactly like that. So um, I'm gonna put Simeon down. We're outside in our backyard for a change of scenery. Um, and let's get started with the first puzzle. I'm gonna put him down so he can run around and play in the yard. Okay, I'm gonna get in really close to make sure you guys can see this. Let's see. Oh, I think you can. Okay, so what you do is you identify each of the pictures and it makes a phrase. So I'll t give you a second to look at the, the puzzle. Does anyone know what it is? If you do, shout it out at home. If not, we'll go from, from picture to picture. So this is a picture of, what do you think this is a picture of? If you can't, I, I think you can see it pretty well. So it's a, a street light with the red, yellow, and green lights. But there's arrows that are pouring to the green. What does green mean? It means go, right? Okay, so go. And then here's this gentleman. He has kind of an arched what? With arrows pointing to his what? Back. Very good. So go back. This is self here too, right? So go back to the, okay. So here is what, can anyone guess? An easel with a painting or a what? What's another word for painting? A draw, drawing, right? So go back to the drawing. My art, artistry is not the greatest, but hopefully you can figure out the last um, picture. It's supposed to be a piece of wood or a wood what? Board. So go back to the drawing board. Okay, so that's our first puzzle. Very good. Our next puzzle get this down I did my best in drawing everyone so the next one there's four pieces to the puzzle okay I'm gonna get this closer because this one's a little bit more smaller piece my son is actually trying to play now if you can hear him okay so here's a tree Okay, is there something in the tree? What's in the tree? It's a monkey and the monkey's what? Hanging, yeah, hanging upside down. So hanging, and then what's this? A picture of, do you think? A box, but there's an arrow, and where is that arrow pointing to? It's inside, right? So hanging in. Okay, this might be a little tricky because it's a play on words. So we have the word the, but then what is this? What's this drawing of? I kind of did a, a normal version, but then a blow up version of what it is. There's arrows pointing to what? What are we here with? Our ears. So now kind of blend the and air together. What word do you come up with? There, the air, there. So hanging, hang in there. 
Good job. Okay. Some of these might. I'm just going to toss this. Some of these might get a little tricky. You have to kind of think outside the box a little bit. Okay. Okay, so here we go. I'll just give you a few, a few seconds to kind of look over at the drawings. I wish we could have it do it live so that I can, I can be like, okay, what do you think it is? But we do the best we can. My, my son is pointing up and say, and, and talking like he's trying to guess. So he's playing along with you. Okay. Anyone know, anyone have a guess what it could be? Okay. Let's go step by step. Okay, what do you, what looks familiar? What, what are some key words that do you think it is? Okay, so we have a TV remote. I'm gonna go backwards actually. So we have, what does this look like? It lives on a farm. Okay, it's a hen, but T and hen is what word? Then, okay. Okay, so there's then. We have a remote control. Okay. But the volume is circled with the arrows pointing to that the top trigger on the volume um, tr volume button on the remote, there's the um, higher and lower buttons. And when you push the higher ones, what does the volume do? It gets what? It gets louder, right? So loud, okay? So just a few kind of key things here. So louder than, and then this group, this bubble has what in it? There's such words as dog, cat, umbrella, ham, apple, and ball. What are all those? They're all words, right? So we have words, we have then, we have louder, okay? So there's the last and let's start at the beginning now. This, has anyone ever seen this symbol before? Usually there's two of them um, together. What do they symbolize? That This drawing symbolizes something. What does it symbolize? Theater, right? And what happens at the theater? There's, ac there's actors and actresses and they act, right? So think of act, okay? So act plus, what is that part of your leg that the arrow is pointing to? It's below the knee, but it's not behind the leg. It's not that big muscle that we, you know, work out. It's that bone. And when it gets, and when it gets hit, um, it hurts. A lot of soccer players have padding um, to protect this shin. So actions, because there's an S at the end. So actions, and then there's this person and she's what? She's saying something, right? So actions, what's another word for saying? Speak, actions, speak. Do you remember what, I, what we determined this was with the volume? Louder, then, the hen, then words so actions speak louder than words good job okay we we have a few more i did a bunch of these because i love i love doing these at tempe okay i'm going to give you a few seconds to look it over anyone have any guesses I'm sorry, this part was a little bit too small, but I'll explain it. Okay, so we have a rain cloud with raindrops. So raining, what does that look like? Cats, okay. I guess, I think you guys know what this saying is just by, just by that, but um, I drew a bookshelf with books and the arrows are pointing to the bookends, okay. So raining cats and, and then what does this look like? Bow wow, huh? Dog. So raining cats and dogs. 
Okay. Let's see if you guys can fit this one. I'll give you a hint. It's a it's a well-known person. Okay, it's a well-known person. Any guesses? Mm, do you almost have it? Okay, let's break it down. What do we have? What kind of animals on the on the um, tree branch? An owl. Okay. Owl plus X. How do, what does that sound like? You have to kind of blend those two things together. Owl X. Okay. But it's a famous person. Okay. Just think about it for a second. And then we have a tree plus. It's kind of like my drawing from the previous puzzle. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. I didn't draw it big enough. But it's a gentleman and the arrow to point to is what again? His back. So tree back, tree back. Okay. And put, now I'll pull it back again so you can see the whole puzzle. You almost have to say these um, two words or these four words really fast to make, to hear the person's name. Okay. Owl X tree back. Alex tree back. Alex Trebek. How do we know him? He's a game show host, right? Yep. So Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Do you see it now? Okay, our next one. I might need help. I might need to help you a little bit more on this one. Hey, Talon. Sorry, my dog was licking something, so I had to go check to make sure he was okay. Okay. Any guesses? What do you see? Okay, so we have some praying hands. Okay, when when someone prays, why do they pray? They might ask God for things, but what else? They thank God, right? So remember the word thank or thanks. So the praying hands represent thanks. Okay, now we have a plus sign and a minus sign and the there's a circle around the plus sign. Can you see it? Okay. What does a plus, plus sign represent? What does it symbolize? Positivity. Okay. What's another word for positivity? Any, any, any ideas? When something's positive or it's a profit, it's what? It's good, right? It's a good thing. So think good. Okay. Again, my drawing isn't the best right here, but can you tell where the arrows are pointing to this part of the drawing? Here's a bird and the bird is sitting up where? In a nest, right? So let's put the first line together. What is it? What are the, what are the praying hands represent? Think. Okay. Think. Good, because plus sign is represents good. So thank good and then nest. Thank goodness. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, plus, okay, there's this good looking man <laughs> dressed really nice in a what? In a suit. Okay, but you have to take away the S and U and you get what? It, right? So thank goodness, it, and then here's the calendar with the F circled. What does the F stand for in a calendar? Friday, thank goodness. 
So thank goodness it's Friday. Almost, right? Almost. If this, if you see this video today, thank goodness tomorrow's Friday, but this might be posted tomorrow. And if it is, then it makes sense. Great puzzle. Okay. We have a few, a couple more. Okay. I'm gonna let you look at that for a second. Break it down. You might even guess it before you can figure out what everything means. Okay, so we have a clock, and clocks tell what? Time. So time. And then we have these birds, and they're not perched. They're doing what? They're flying in the air, right? So time flies. Anyone know what, it, what we're going to get at? You're right. Time flies when we're having fun, but let's break it down, okay? So clock time flies. W plus hen when and then y plus those things that you use to canoe with ors so when you're half plus in heaven and then the dollar signs represents money or what's another word for money or you have lots of it in the bank you have so much and the word i'm looking for ends in d because there's a minus d Fun, funds, minus D, fun. So time flies when you're having fun. Because there's money that represents funds minus the D. Okay. We have two more puzzles. Are you still with me? I hope so. Yes. My son is playing in the mud and I'm okay with that. Boys will be boys. Okay. So give you a second here. Okay. What do you see? Can everyone see it? Okay. So what does that look like? You wear it on the on the finger. It's a ring. Okay. So ring plus there's arrows that are going in a circle. So they're going what? Around. So ring around the, okay. Specifically this flower might look more like it. What's the type of flower that has lots of petals? Ro roses. So ring around the rose rosy and there's an arrow pointing to what? On the shirt. Pocket. Okay, and then we have two cups. One is empty and one is full. Full of, and then these are stick figures that are posing. That's the best I could do. So ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies. Okay, our last puzzle. Our last puzzle. So this puzzle, I'm going to give you a, a, a hint that get, lets you get to know my son. My son, we, we have a nickname for him because he does exactly this all the time. Let me just help him out. Okay. So we'll give you a second to look at the puzzle. Can you see all of it? Okay. Yeah, you can see all of it. Again, I'm sorry my drawings aren't that detailed but I did my best. Okay. Here we go. Any guesses? Last puzzle. Who knows it? Sorry, my hand's in the way. Who knows it? Okay, let's break it down. Okay, so we have numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And what number circled? Can you tell? The number five is if you couldn't tell. Okay, so remember five plus, okay, so we have this stick figure, this big stick figure, and then this 
opposite of big. Little, okay? Because it's smaller. So five little, and then this right here, I didn't feel like you, you would have figured out what my drawing is here, so I made a little one. Monkeys, right? Okay, does anyone know what nursery rhyme I'm, or what childhood story I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm getting at? Yes! Five little monkeys jumping, okay? And then this is a weight, a large amount of weights, minus T. So ton, but minus a T is on the, and then the bed. How many of your kids used to jump on the bed? My son does. He thinks it's so fun. He climbs up and then he, he plays and jumps and fall, you know, on the bed and then he um, slides down and he goes around to the other side and climbs up and does the same thing. He just goes round and round and round. He's our little monkey because he climbs on anything and everything. He's 18 months old, so a typical um, toddler. So, that is, that is our last puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. I love these games and I hope you are enjoying all our videos that are being uploaded for your, um, for your enjoyment and we will see you next time.